there, dear friend. It's me, Noah Galutin, returned from my broken leg with a now slightly less broken leg. Well, here's the thing. I was gone, and this Truly character was on the show, and he talked about these uh, Chips Ahoy cookies, which, uh, you know, whatever, it's a cookie. But then they decided to put fucking birthday cake frosting inside because that's the thing that makes sense. If you missed that episode, uh, well, congratulations. The good news was I was not here to taste them. The even better news is T couldn't even find the damn things. The terrible, tragic, miserable news for today is that uh, I'm back and T found some stupid fucking birthday cake frosting bullshit cookies. In more terrible news, T also found these uh, stupid brownie filled Chips Ahoy and these stupid Oreo cream filled Chips Ahoy. And as a bonus round of my own personal misery, our old frenemy Farkas sent us these uh, birthday cake flavored M&Ms. So these are here too. So if you're a regular watcher of this show, then by now you've discovered that I'm not the biggest fan of sweets, which means I'm probably not gonna like these because what they did see is they took a cookie, which is sweet, and then uh, and then they put frosting inside. So basically, uh, I might um, I might commit murder today and possibly murder suicide. We will see. All right. So it looks like a pretty standard sized cookie. Uh, it's not like super thick. I don't totally get. Did they bake it and then inject it? Did they put the frosting inside and the frosting bakes? I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. Tastes like a cookie with frosting inside. I've definitely had worse things on this show. I'm guessing that what makes it birthday frosting is the little rainbowy colored, little pastel y frosting y chips inside of it. So I kind of get that. Um, but it, yeah, it just tastes like generic white frosting. So not totally repulsive. Uh, I mean, I don't like them. I'd never want to eat them again. But, uh, you know, it's not bacon flavored soda. So. God, my standards are really dropping, aren't they? I'm sweating. This is not good. So these things apparently have been out for a while, but T couldn't find them for a bit. Hopefully these have been sitting on a shelf for a really long time. I thought that'll matter. These are so filled with preservatives and crap that it won't really mean anything. So, uh, man. Because you know, like brownies, people like those, and people like cookies, so they should be in the same thing. The brownie is definitely the most dominant part of the flavor. This definitely wants a glass of milk. Yeah, you know what would be better than this? It would be like a good cookie or a good brownie. It sort of tastes as expected, and I expected to not like it, and I was proved correct. Now it's time for Oreo cream, or as I like to call it, uh, spooge spilling out of the bottom of my cookie. Um, this one's kind of like a, like a weird, layered flavor attack. It's like cookie at first, and then the frosting kind of coats the inside of your mouth, and then it starts to become more dominant at the end. I can't believe I'm analyzing this cookie so deeply. As someone who has now eaten way more Oreos than I would ever have liked to due to this show, I would say that I can't identify this as Oreo cream filling. I don't know that I would without the context, uh, but it definitely does taste like it. And it looks like a fucking M&M. Uh, and it tastes like one too. So, uh, yeah, way to make the package blue. Well guys, I am completely done eating these for the rest of my life, but I'm being told that our video is not long enough, so let's go ahead and feed the office. I love chewy cookies. Oh, shit, this is good. It's like a super moist cookie. It doesn't really taste like frosting. I'm actually kind of sad about this. It tastes like a cookie. If I was blindfolded, I don't think I'd notice the frosting. It's more like a brownie with a cookie around it than it is yeah, a brownie they got, inside They got of a this cookie. like really super thin layer of cookie around a brownie. Like, how did they get the cookie that thin? This is good though, very moist, which I hate that word. And they probably like painted the cookie on. Oh yeah, I love cookie paint. Tastes like a cookie, do you Tastes still? like a cookie! All right. With nothing, or? Yeah, that one comes on a little later. Yeah. It like clings to the roof of your mouth. Yeah. I like the brownie one. The brownie one's the best one. All right. This one's oddly thinner. Mm-hmm. C-R-E with a thingy over it. Mm -hmm. M-E. M-E. It's either creme or creme. The only creme. bit of the only bit of class Oreo has ever had is us referring to it as creme. It tastes like a cookie. Mm-hmm. I didn't say that this frosting tastes very Oreo-y. I don't get the point. I'm 
these stupid cookies. You love it, but you can't tell that it's any different from regular M&M. Yeah. What's different about this? Uh, they're apparently birthday cake flavored. It tastes like an M&M. Yeah, I thought the same thing. A bigger M&M. Honestly, it does taste like that, like, cheap, like, can like frosting. Can frosting? Yeah. Like the Duncan Hines or whatever? That awful, like, stuff that my grandmother used to put on graham crackers. Tastes like a normal M&M, but right. I love M&Ms. Sure. If you could fill a cookie with anything that Chips Ahoy would do, what would it be? Um, probably like recycled parts of the Keebler Elves. I'm super disappointed for once. Another marketing hoax. Bastards in Nabisco. The they got me again. Well, we all ate cookies. In general, uh, people didn't notice that much difference between regular Chips Ahoy and Chips Ahoy with stupid stuff put inside. I could tell the difference and I didn't care. If I had to eat one again, I'd probably uh, just not do it anyway and see what the punishment was. That's it for us today, guys. I'm Noah Galutin. Hit the thumbs up, jump into the comment section, let us know what you think of these cookies, if you want to try them, or if you want to be like a really awesome person and not buy them and go steam some broccoli. So uh, yeah, subscribe to Tasted and uh, you get to watch me talk about more things that I don't like. It is uh, our motif, if you will.